Sampro's going to do it all right. And Sampro wins in good style. Bob Ollinger, all guns blazing. So Gerhard having to work hard in the closing stages. It's been tiring round today. It's Wednesday. It's Cheltenham. We've made an absolute mint on the Tuesday by backing all these shorties. We're going to start pumping it up. We're going to start making some money because we've got some seriously competitive racing. We've got no idea who's going to win the bumper. We've got really no idea who's going to win the Brown Advisory. Maybe we know who's going to win the cross country in the champion chase. But the Ballymore is a race that I think a few people think they know the winner. And I think there's a few people out there that disagree with it. This panel of three is very much swayed in uh, two parts. I should get a job with Betfair the way I'm going to sell the winner of the Ballymore. But we'll talk, we'll, we're going to sandwich this because I know you two both like Grange Clare West. So, Daryl, you put him up on your Betfair column a little while ago. You like him. I did a little A to Z for gg.co.uk, which I'll link in the bottom of this description, where I talk about all the novice hurdles because I think there is some information over the next weekend and then WMA's Festival that's going to help us out of it. And I just wanted to stamp my opinion on the horse by then. You like this horse. You put your name against him for a little while back. Does Grange Clare West just win the Baddy more, or do you think he's still got to prove a bit more? Um, I, I, I think he's going to come on a ton for that run, for the, for, the, for the return run, right? And I and I think he'll win the Lords and Ace on Sunday. I think we, if we see an improved performance on what he put in the the last day on, on seasonal return, he'll go short price favourite five to two for this, surely. I think eight to one is a, a, just even on the back of what he does. Like this, like this price for Glen Square Claire, Claire West. Right? I could be completely wrong here, right? But this, this feels like an old school anti post price after a really good, impressive victory from a Willie Mullins horse, right? Nowadays, a Willie Mullins horse wins by six to eight lengths. They're cut into. I mean, look, Gaelic Wallows beat, beat, beat a load of rubbish that's come out and been beaten next time. By eight six lengths, and he's he's just shorter price than Grange Clare West, who's beat a respectable field, I think. Um, so yeah, look, I think I think he's a I think he's a winner. I don't really want to say it. I think he's a winner and waiting. He's one of the horses that I'm excited to see. Like, so I'm hoping my bubble doesn't get burst on Sunday. And if it does, I'll have to go back to the drawing board. But I really like him. I think he's a proper horse. He's a point to point winner. He's a he's a bumper winner. He's a hurdle winner. He is exactly the type of sort of unbeaten horse you want to see going into the Ballymore. He's from the right connections, from the right owners. Like there is loads to like about him, and uh, and he showed a bit of class coming up that that Navin Hill. You know that like you don't come up there as well as that under Hand and Hills um, in a decent field very often like that. So I'm quite excited about him. I am. I think. Uh, I think this is another race we could see a small field as well. Fair enough. I was going to go in the sandwich, but you've riled me up even more after that. Jamie, you go before I start sticking my two pounds in against Grange Clare West. And this isn't the point of like knocking stuff. It's because like, well, it isn't because of anything, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see in the lot of an ace. I, like, I, do, I do see the point of it. And I do think the horse looks good. And he was very good the, that, that, the last day and like clearly visually impressed with that stuff. Like one of those horses you do get a bit excited about, but I've just got a few things that, I think I can make enough of a case to say why I think his price at the moment is maybe a bit short. Go but again, it. it's all opinions, isn't it? But this is the beauty of like there. I love how you like you sell a horse when you love one because it is decent. Jamie, are you going to sell Grange Clare West to me quite as well as Daryl did? Um, well, I echo what Daryl says. Yeah, if there might, he reminds me a horse, Dave. Like I know I'm not going to compare horses. Like I don't, I don't like. I'm not into that crap. Uh, do you have to remember too that they were struggling to get Faheen fit there years ago, and then Grange Clare rested a, a pissed up in a, in a bumper at the end of the season. And Faheen then came along, same kind of route, and then Faheen went on to win the Ballymore. And he just reminds me of, in a way, not way now that he's going to be a champion hurler. So he's probably going to be a Gold Cup horse at the end of the day, down the line. Do you know what I mean? He really impressed me. Like as Daryl says, you don't come up the Nevin Hill, and that's a bigger hill than most hills in Ireland like the way he did. Now, the only thing, and Daryl probably shoot me for this, that I'd be worried that he'd go to the Albert Bartlett because I think they think Gaelic Warriors are Ballymore horse. That's just my opinion. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Hermes Allen impressed me the last day in the cello. He did, because I didn't think he'd go on the ground. And I think he'd been impressive as he did. Uh, there's a horse behind Hermes Allen that I have an eye on for something. I'll tell you later. Uh, but the only other horse that is sticks in my head for the Ballymore stroke Bartlett is the horse that won of Willie Munns and the Muneer horse last day at Nace 
is called Impere Passe. I love to know where this horse goes. The only thing of that horse, they went very slow and then he sprinted clear. Do you know what I mean? At the end, up the hill at Nace, no hurdles in the straight, blah, blah, blah. But uh, to me, this Grange Care West looks the real deal for me. And I think he'll win an eight to one before the Lauders and Nace. It's up to you if you want to back him. Nice. I like, I. I do like, I can see why people are getting excited about him. I've just tempered my enthusiasm a little bit just because of the fact that I just, I don't know, I started to look into a little bit more and there's just a few little niggling things which shouldn't bother me about a horse, but I like, I do like him. I think he's an okay-ish price because I do think he's probably the most likely winner of the Lord of Mace, but we'll have to see. I would like to know for definite, which we, we don't know now, that's the beauty of any post betting, if he's going to go here and then he's going to run at Dublin Race Festival as well because I would like him to get more racing into him before Cheltenham because I think that maybe is what he lacks a bit. Grange Clare West, is it? More more racing for Leopardstown, sorry, is it? Yeah, well, yeah, but Grange Clare West, like running in the Law of Nace and then running... Oh, the, no, he'll the go straight to Cheltenham after that. He'll go and, to and that. And that's my niggle, right? So I'll just quickly do some stuff. We did touch sorry. on Gaelic Warriors, so we're going to round about him as well because he's an even... F- I don't want to swear. I'm going to swear. He's an even fucking worse price. But anywho, <laughs> that, I know what Jamie's saying about potentially he go out with the thing like Gaelic Warriors being the Ballymore horse. He's not Ballymore horse. He got beat one two nine in the Boodles. Never forget. Never forget those things have been jumping right. And we've I, again, I put it in the GG column. I was talking to Darren about this uh, a couple of days ago. Don't the form of that race. I know he won by miles, but horses that he beat by ninety lengths have been beat ninety plus lengths in fucking handicaps off of like a hundred since. So like it's. I, I don't, I don't, that doesn't stand up to anything. And I know the law of Nace will find out more, but I think he's just going to be battered in that. And obviously when he is, Grange Clare West will win and then make Grange Clare West a bit shorter. But anywho, remember when Champ ran in the Ballymore down and I said she's seven-year-olds don't win the Ballymore. And I know we t- touched on this with appreciate because the rules are there to be broken. And if any man's going to do it, it's Willie Mullins. But you think of these horses that break the rules. Appreciate had four runs in bumpers, then had like three spins over hurdles before he ran. When Champ was running in those races, he was a second season novice. Obviously, got close, didn't he? When French Holly won it all those years back, that horse ran at the Punchers Town Festival twice in the Grade One bumper, like two years on the spin. Had bundles of experience. This horse has not had much racing at all. So the seven-year-old thing, I know it potentially could be a lot better for it, but I just think the mould of him missing racing and being the age that he is worries me a little bit more but i mean he could probably go and hack up couldn't he i do oh, think the up. problem <laughs> no. shut up well, get on with you get on with your hermes allen theory so come on boy come on we're, we're, we're getting old here with your hermes allen like well that's it Herm- hermes allen i like hermes allen will like his the deserved favor i think three times probably still a fair price this is the thing you got to remember with the gate we're in grain close behind there's only so short those two can get like nothing is going to go sub three to one now. So Grange Clare West could go and win, might go three to one joint favourites, but I'd rather watch him run the Lord of Nace and then find out about them there than back in beforehand. But obviously it's just personal opinion and you guys want a bigger price, so that's happy days. Hermes was real good, wasn't he? When he ran in that Hyde Novices Chase, Novices Chase, Novices heard of where Herbrisco is in there, he was short price favourite after jumping the first. Now I know Herbrisco was a little bit hampered in there, but he just went off like a proper horse and he's got the attitude of a horse that wants to do what he's told to do. And I know we get some of the Nichols horses that can, I don't know, sit in behind or they just do as much as they need to do, maybe need educational rides. But this horse is an absolute fucking giver. And that that cello hurdle has probably been, I know it's maybe not the best horses in there in behind, but it was a, a decent enough field and there was enough depth in it. I know the right priced horses didn't finish behind him. But again, when I was speaking to Daryl the other day, the horses that were second and third, probably were underappreciated in the market. Like the one that's second, the mayor, she was one, two, five right before that. And she looked good off of a one, two, five mark. We talked about the fact that novices have got to get four runs before they can go in a handicap. You might as well go and run them in a shallow hurdle. And it doesn't matter if you blow your mark up, but she's 133 rated now. I think it all stacks up with Hermes Allen. He's got the Cheltenham form. We, I know I touched on stats and shallow hurdle winners don't win the baddie more, but plenty of them have gone pretty close, haven't they? There are certain stats that throw you right off, like the seven-year-old thing can't put you right off a of Grange Clare West, the same as the Shallow can't put you great off of Hermes. I think he's a cracking bet three to one. And let's imagine something really, really weird. Imagine a 20 to one poke goes and wins the Laura of an ace. Grange Clare West or Gaelic Warrior doesn't go and win it. That big rag is not going to end up being a short price favour and Hermes Allen's just going to go off short. So I think he is the right horse to be on at this time. There is obviously information we're going to find out on Sunday to see what happens to the Laura of Nace, but I'd imagine a lot of people out there are probably on Grange Clare West and maybe even Gaelic Warrior at bigger prices. Hopefully they've got Gay, uh, Hermes Allen in the book as well, but I've, I really do think Hermes Allen just absolutely shits over. And if 
If he doesn't, it probably would be someone like Grange Claire West that does it. But Gaelic Warrior has no chance. I haven't got the time to do this in let, the video. Let, let, all... Yes, you have. Let me just come back at that quickly because you're not getting away with this, right? The timer. Uh, yeah, I know. I've seen the timer. We've got three minutes left in this recording, right? If you, if I took away the Grade One Cello name of that race, right, and, and you just turned up and like, and you didn't know about the Grade One Cello, and you went and looked at that race, you'd be like, "Oh, what's he beat? Oh, nothing." Do you know what? I think that you haven't found a bet in this Ballymore yet, and you've just latched onto Hermes Allen on the back of that Cello hurdle win. I'll tell you something now, right? That you wear it well in second, gave him seven lengths, seven and a half lengths at the first hurdle, right? She, she ran exactly the same circuit time and exactly the same from three out to the finish as Hermes Allen did. It was beaten four lengths. Now, I know Hermes Allen did it like fairly easily, but you look at the jump at the last from Hermes Allen. I don't think he was had as much in the tank left as Harry Cobden would have made you, would have liked you to have thought. They were 14 mm. lengths clear of anything else. There was loads that didn't handle the ground in there. I think it's very dodgy <coughs> to say that that form is, is is strong. I think it's very dodgy to, to rely on that form. That market when it opened was 10 to 11, Hermes Allen, right? He drifted out to 11 to 10. They mm. backed Juro Mashan into 4 to 1. Juro Mashan hates soft ground, so I don't know why they was backing him, right? And I'm not being funny. There is there is nothing in there with any substance other than the fact that they're unexposed um, to say that that is a great piece of form. So I would just tread very lightly at three to one at the front of the market, especially when the Irish have got so many bullets to fire yet. Do you, do you want to as well, Dave? Dave, to come back on your point, Daryl, to keep going with Daryl's point. But like, what what in the pecking order with Willie Munnins, right? No matter how far he was beaten in November, like Hugh Briscoe, like what? Where is he? Fifth, six, seven string of oh, a million novice. Do you know what I mean? Like he's going to the Martin Pipe or something like that, or fucking county. He's not even going to win one of them. But me and him are done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like him, like come on, like look. I know he beat Fenner Cross at Galway, and then Fenner Cross won the Supreme Trial. But like Supreme, Fenner Cross win of Supreme. I oh, stop. But he's like very, look, Dave, he's very good. He's he's very he's good. good. Not getting away but, from that. He is a no, very good horse, no. but. Let's be. Let's get real. Really, let's calm down a little bit. He hasn't been. There, there is nothing there, this side of the water for him to to have say, to say that he was, is a solid three to one favorite for the Ballymore for me. And there yeah, was, and I, and there I was people on Twitter the last day going on about, oh, he's another dim and another brave man's game. The twenty twenty five fucking King George winner. I'll stop now, please, please, please. Stop. I know, and, I, and I, I do get that in there. But the only thing I'll say is, obviously, we've recorded this before Sunday, and some people will spring along this after the Law of Nace. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is all. Yeah, we better shut up. He better win on Sunday. Yeah. As it stands at this point, on what they've done, you, you two are both talking like Grange Claire West has just won the Lord as a Nace by ten in a hat canter. If that happens, then obviously eight to one was too big. Hermes has got something to worry about. I don't. I gave it Warriors dog shit, and I know I put him up last year for the for thing. The price thing was right about that. Like I can't have him in the slightest. So Q gave it Warrior going and winning. But I, I don't think Grange Claire West is that great. I just don't think the Laura Nace is that. 